Thank you so much, uh, Mike. We're going to be checking back in with you. But right now, I would like to go to one of our viewers, Michelle Pilati. She is joining us on the Eyewitness News phone line because I understand, Michelle, you actually heard the plane overhead right before the crash? Uh, yes, I did, Kara. I was uh, I had just left the house to walk the dog, and um, I heard and saw the plane coming over our neighborhood. Um, it's not unusual for military planes to fly kind of low, and this one was uh, it wasn't, it's not a military plane, but it was flying kind of low. Um, and it was making sort of like a popping or like a backfiring sound. Um, it definitely didn't sound good, but <laughs> it was moving. It was traveling east over our neighborhood. And, um, when I got down to the end of the street and took the corner, I noticed that it had made a turn, uh, towards the south. So, um, now that I know what happened, um, it was, it was making a, a turn to head back towards the airport. What is the feeling there where you are and other people in your neighborhood as they not only see the black smoke, and I'm sure where all the prayers are going for the people who are on board that plane, but this is a piece of American history right near you? Oh, sure. I mean, it was crazy. When I saw it, I, I knew there was something different about the plane because it had the, uh, the circle with the star on it. Um, so, you know, I'm sure there weren't a lot of people out today when I was out in my neighborhood. Um, and it wasn't really until I got back to the house that I realized that something had happened. But I'm um, very sad and, and hopefully, um, you know, everyone's OK. When, when you looked up in the sky and you saw the plane uh, flying low, did you see any flames at that point? I did not see any flames. Like I said, I just I just heard sort of this weird popping sound like like something was backfiring. Um, but there were no flames or anything that I could tell in the, in on the airplane um, when I saw it. Okay, thank you, Michelle. We had heard from another viewer who, by his assumption, I, he knew a little bit about aircraft. He said that he looked up and saw only that one engine was working. This is a four-engine plane known as the Flying Fortress during the World War II days. So, uh, again, we have no idea why this plane was headed to Bradley International Airport, although we're hearing that there was an air show, and it's a Collings Foundation plane. Often these planes are brought in as teaching tools and to bring people in touch. So we're still waiting for more information, but we really do appreciate uh, you giving us that eyewitness account, and we'll keep you posted as we get more information here at Eyewitness News. All right.